So in this video, I'm going to show you two advanced methods which can uninstall a laptop keyboard and you can use external keyboard. So let's check out first method. First of all, if your Windows OS is Pro and Enterprise Edition, then only this method will work on your OS. Otherwise, the second method can be used and second method is most advanced one. So you need to follow the instructions very carefully. Let's go and check the first method. I'm going to open the run box and then type gpedit.msc. In the gpedit.msc, you have to expand the administrative templates in the computer configuration and then click on system. Once you click on the system, check for device installation and here is the device installation click on device installation restrictions and then check for prevent installation of devices not described by other policy settings double click on it and then click on enable to enable this policy now my keyboard is currently working so let's enable this policy click on apply click on ok click on close still my keyboard is working i need to open command prompt type cmd in the search box open it as run as administrator click on yes for user account control permissions and then type gp update space forward slash force now the group policy is updating let's check once this process complete if the keyboard is working or not so still the keyboard is working now i will right click on the start and then click on device manager i will click on keyboards expand this keyboard but you will see two keyboards if you have connected your external keyboard to the laptop carefully right click on the laptop keyboard and then click on uninstall device click on uninstall again and then click on yes to confirm to restart the computer now after restart let's check if the keyboard is working or not i'm not able to type my password so i was able to disable the group policy and able to log in to the operating system now let's check out the second method and second method is advanced one and you have to follow the steps very carefully so open the run box and type drivers in the run box and hit enter click on any of the folder and press key on the keyboard and then right click on the file show more options click on properties we need to rename this driver file with some other name so we cannot do it directly we cannot rename the file name directly because this is system file and we cannot rename it so let's try to rename it and i'm not able to rename it i'm and i'm getting file access denied error so i'm going to cancel this operation and then I will have to give permissions and do some settings in the permissions in the security and then I will be able to rename this file. So look at this step very carefully. Click on properties and then click on security. Once you click on the security, click on advance. Now you will see owner trusted installer. Click on change and then type the username by which you are currently logged in to the computer check names and then click on ok now owner is change fine click on apply click on ok here and then click on ok now one more step click on edit click on add and then type the current username which you are logged in with click on check names then click on apply click on full control and then click on apply again click on yes and click on ok and again click on 
okay over here as well now just try to rename the file hit enter click on continue then click on yes for user account control permissions and i am able to rename the file there is one more file to be renamed press k on your keyboard and then you will find this file kbd class.sys right click on it and then we have to follow same steps on this file as well so click on advance click on change type the username click on check names click on ok click on apply click on ok click on ok again and then click on edit over here to add the username to give the full control then type username then click on check names click on ok and then give full control click on apply click on yes again click on ok click on ok again so now try to rename this file as well so it is showing file access denied click on continue click on yes so the file is renamed now right click on the start menu and then click on device manager no i'm not able to use the keyboard so the driver file name is changed and let's expand this keyboard option right click on the keyboard and then uninstall device click on uninstall click on yes to restart the computer but before that only I was not able to use the keyboard. So I am on my login screen and I'm trying to type the password, but I am not able to type the password. So this is how you can disable or you can uninstall the laptops keyboard. And if you like this video, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe and press the bell icon to enable notifications for future videos. Thanks and bye bye.